Hey what's poppin guys, Sizzle here, and today I'm going to show you how you can get most TF2 items in the game uh, for as cheap as possible, and also a little bit about basic trading, but this is really not much of a trading guide. If you want to learn how to make profit while trading and doing trading stuff, I would recommend look, checking out the Virtual Economist, Squirrely, or just look up like TF2 trading, and there's a ton of different smarter people who do like really good trading guides. This is mainly about how you can get your items. Um, so yeah, so first things first, you want to get the Steam mobile app, so um, you go onto like your phone or whatever in the app store, uh, you can get the Steam mobile app on both the app store and the play store, uh, both of them work basically the same, and what you want to do when you have these apps is you want to log in and then enable the Steam Mobile Authenticator, since those things are kind of required um, for actually doing any kind of trading, even just the base level, like kind of purchasing kind of trading, you need the Steam Mobile app. And then also you want to go into the Team Fortress 2 shop, and you need Steam funds for this, so you need a minimum of just a dollar, uh, I would say. And the items you want to buy are actually kind of specific. So you want to type in key and go right to here until you see Manco Supply Crate Key with this exact icon. There are other keys, obviously, you can see a bunch. You want the Manco Supply Crate one because that is the one that's used almost like a currency in Team Fortress 2. Um, and then the other one would be possibly a Tour of Duty ticket. Uh, I don't know if it shows properly in here, but you can find that by hitting uh, Man vs. Machine, Man Up, and then right there it's available for a dollar. So that's your other option. I think actually with the way prices work right now, your, the most cost-efficient option is actually to buy Tour of Duty tickets and not uh, keys. Because the Tour of Duty tickets are worth around half a key. And keys are two dollars fifty cents. So if you have two of these, it's only two dollars, not two fifty. So tour duty tickets are actually probably the best way to go. Although keys are always a solid option. But the reason you want to do one of those things and not something else is actually pretty simple. So if I go to like Scout, for example, I pick any one random hat. Let's say the Crown of the Old Kingdom, right? This is actually an all class hat, so it's gonna be a little bit more expensive, not by a lot, but it'll be a few extra cents. But Steam wants you to pay $10, so the price of four keys for it. Now, if you go on backpack.tf, you can put any web browser, backpack.tf, right, you'll see the actual price that people trade this for. Uh, so if you go to the Crown of the Old Kingdom, and sorry I forgot to mention this earlier, but in order to trade, you need to wait 15 days after you have the Steam Mobile Authenticator and have purchased something in TF2. So that's why you want to do that before you do anything. And then you have to wait almost two weeks before you can actually do any of this trading, which is kind of a way Valve tries to get you to buy stuff, but just don't. Just wait out the time. But the Crown of the Old Kingdom, just the basic one, which is what this is, is too refined. So that's the equivalent of basically four cents. So this is $10, right? So $10 divided by four cents is you could buy 250 Crown of the Old Kingdoms for $10. And Valve wants you to buy one. Meanwhile, if you buy one key, one key, if you look at backpack.tf again, so the place you can see key prices, you click on the little key icon, or in the search bar, you can type up Manco Supply, and then you'll see the Manco Supply key. You can go click on that, get to the same page. Um, you'll see they're selling people are selling them for 59.44 refined, which is kind of like every key, kind of like how every dollar is made up of like a bunch of different coins, like cents, uh, dimes, whatever. Uh, every key, which is basically the dollar, is made up of refined. So this is basically almost 60 refined. Uh, and if you look at back at the Crown of the Old Kingdom, uh, they wanted two refined for that. So for every key that you buy, you can get 30 Crown of the Old Kingdoms, which is why keys are so nice to have. Uh, now, as for selling your keys, you could uh, add one of these bots and sell it to them, but I would recommend just for the sake of simplicity, you go on scrap.tf, and you actually have to log in for this one. Click the sign through Steam button and log in through here. And it is a trustworthy site, so... Make sure you're actually at the scrap.tf domain, but if you're there, 
this is a trustworthy site. You can log into it. It's been up for years and no one's ever gotten their stuff stolen. So anyway, for, once you're here, you go to trade, then where it says keys, you hit price. And where it says sell keys, you just want to sell two keys and then hit sell now. And it'll make a trade offer for you, which you just have to accept and you'll get your items. So that's a pretty simple way of doing that. And then once you have that, you can look up any hats you want. For example, Crown of the Old Kingdom. All right, you go here, then you can trade bot, right? So this one, this guy wants 2.33 refine. So let me actually go back to this browser because it's where I'm logged in. Um, Crown of Kingdom, right? See, so he wants 2.33 refine. So what you want to do is you click the little lightning bolt because that means he's a bot. So he'll instantly accept your offer. So this is just for getting stuff. That's why I said that. For trading, you can probably find humans that'll sell a little bit cheaper. But for bots, you do it right away. You want to just type in ref to find your refine that you now have from your keys. And then type in rec to see if you have any reclaimed. Right, just like that, because a reclaimed is three scrap metal. Every scrap is three reclaimed, and then the three reclaimed is a refined. So this is one refined, this is a third of a refined, or 0.33. Uh, if you don't want to do the math yourself, by the way, you can actually add the bots, uh, ones that aren't from Quicksellers or so let's say this guy, right? If I add this guy, hit add friend, he'll instantly actually message back. Let's see, I've gotten a message. Uh, and then what you want to do is simply type in the command they have right here. You can copy paste it, control C, control V, and they'll actually make a trade offer for you and process everything for you. So you don't have to do anything yourself. And just like that, I could get this hat for 2.44 cause that's what this bot wanted. Or you could get this one for 2.33 if you follow whatever they want you to do. And just like that, if I confirmed this, accepted it, and then I confirm it on my phone, I would get the hat. So that's the simple way of getting hats. Now, the other thing is getting weapons. So that's a little bit more different. You could you could still buy them on Scrap TF, right? Uh, at, sorry, Backpack TF. And sometimes that's the only option. Like the Rocket Jumper, you almost only will find on here. You want to buy the here, the, the unique version. You can see you buy it for one scrap, which is 0 0.11 refined. Um, but let's say, for example, I want to buy the original, which is what this thing's called, right? Well, there's a lot of a better way to do that is going to scrap TF yet again. They're the best place to get weapons because in the weapon section, first off, if you hit buy, you can buy any weapon with any weapon. So let's say I want this battalion's backup, right? I just click on it then select items from your back backpack as payment. I could buy that for the Eureka effect if I wanted right, right now. If I just click on that, uh, you see I now owe zero scrap. If I hit trade now, it'll actually make a trade with the Eureka effect for the battalion's backup, just like that. And that's a way you could get weapons. So if you have duplicates, that's a really nice way of doing it. Um, but if you don't have duplicates and you just want to buy all the weapons and you have the refined that you just got from selling keys, if you hit auto buy uh, after when you're not actually doing a trade like I just am, if you trade and then auto buy, It'll automatically make a trade offer for every weapon that they have that you don't have, uh, just in like a really basic trade. You'd see they made an offer right here, Eureka Effect for Battalion's Backup. So if I accept that, then I go on the mobile app, which I'm doing right now. I'm not going to show that on screen, but which I'm doing right now, basically. You'll see, just like that, the trade actually just processed because I confirmed it. And just like that, I get my Battalion's Backup. Um, the other way to do it, and the way I recommend doing it just to save yourself hassle of looking for individual weapons is hit auto buy and it'll automatically look for any weapons you don't have, which I think there's actually a couple I don't have right now. So it might be able to find something and it'll automatically make a trade offer for all those weapons. And for buying almost every weapon in the game should only cost you around like five or six or fine. So that's like eight cents, which is why buying any of them from the Steam store is a scam if they're ever available, or something like this, where it's all the weapons. Uh, all those weapons combined are maybe a total of like, I don't know, like 20 cents, and they want $5 for it, so never buy anything like that. You always just want to go on Scrap TF and Auto Buy, or you can go back to Backpack TF and search for any kind of weapon that you want. So let's say I want like the Rocket Jump, or just the, the original, just that Soldier Rocket Launcher. 
I can go buy it from here. That's only if Scrap doesn't have it, because Scrap is, if it's available, it's always the cheapest way to buy it from here. So if I look for the original, they actually have it here, so it's cheaper to get 0.5 Scrap, rather than one whole Scrap, which is what, what 0.11 is. So yeah, um, that's really all there is to it. Uh, that's how you trade for any hats or weapons or basic items. That's the basics of trading. Just use Scrap TF and Backpack TF. If you want to buy uh, real stuff for money, um, I'd recommend looking at manco.store right here. If you sign in, you can buy stuff for real money with your credit card for a cheap price. Or the other option right now is marketplace.tf, which is basically the same website, but everything's a little bit cheaper, at least right now. Do your research on both of these sites, make sure they're not scams by the time you're watching this video. They probably won't be, you'll probably be good to go. Um, because they're made by the same, Marketplace made by the same people as Backpack TF, and then Manco store just has a big uh, kind of reputation, so you can kind of trust what they're doing. But you can look, let's say you want to buy like 10 keys, right? hit uh, 10 keys, add to cart. Uh, you'll see it's only seventeen fifty eight after fees rather than $25 from Steam. Or if I do it on here, uh, 10 keys, uh, you'll see if I go to view cart, it's $18.10. So right now, Manco is cheaper, so I would buy from there. But yeah, these are places you can buy directly with credit cards. But if you only have like Steam gift cards, you're kind of just going to have to deal with the Steam store, and that's okay. Um, but yeah, that really covers the basics of everything for trading. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.